Hi Logic Language Learners, I hope you are really well. This is a video which is aimed at those <coughs> who understand why we use relative pronouns in a certain way with verbs which would take a preposition. So if that has already gone whoosh, then please look in the description box and see the links underneath to those two things. So very briefly, a relative pronoun is when you are going to be introducing um, a concept, a thing, and you're going to be connecting it to a verb. So, for example, the man I love, the girl I know, the object I need. OK, and what those relative pronouns will be in French is very largely determined by the kind of verb that it is. So, for example, I want the cake, je veux le gâteau, the cake I want, le gâteau que je veux, le gâteau que je veux. I need the cake, j'ai besoin de le gâteau, j'ai besoin du gâteau, le gâteau dont j'ai besoin. Um, I'm thinking of the cake, alors je pense au gâteau, le gâteau auquel je pense. Um, uh, so those choices there, um, you need to know, okay, you need to know. And we're particularly today talking about the usage of dont. So, Go underneath, have a little look, have a little look, have a look if you don't understand why we use those different uh, relative pronouns. Equally, if you don't understand why certain verbs use de. So, I remember, je me souviens de quelque chose. Um, you know, j'ai besoin de quelque chose. Uh, you know, je m'occupe de quelque chose. So, I will attach the videos underneath on why we use certain prepositions with certain verbs. Right, so if you're now watching the video, I'm assuming that you understand those two things. So if you've watched those two videos, or you've, if you know that information, you will be very comfortable with when we use the relative pronouns. And you probably tell yourself, I do this when I then go into a verb that would use a de. So for example, je me souviens de la situation, I remember the situation, la situation dont je me souviens, the situation I remember. Je m'occupe de la situation. I'm looking after the situation. I'm dealing with the, situa the situation. La situation dont je m'occupe, um, etc., etc., etc. Okay. But a problem that came up today with one of my more advanced students was that the muscle memory that you have for certain verbs then is largely determined on whether that verb uses de or not. So, for example, with a v, you are used to using que je veux. So, for example, I want the cake, je veux le gâteau, because there's no de in the original lineup, the cake I want, le gâteau que je veux. So, you're used to hearing que je veux. You're not used to hearing or creating dont je veux. But, and this is where this video really sort of starts to go somewhere, is if your clause is using other verbs before your special verb with de in the infinitive. So sort of modal, modal verbs, things like je veux, I want to remember, je veux me souvenir de quelque chose. So I want to remember the situa situation, je veux me souvenir de la situation. Um, uh, je vais me souvenir de la situation. Okay, um, you know, uh, je peux me souvenir de la situation. Okay, you're not necessarily used to, in this case, for example, with don, although it could work with any of the others, pop the don before those verbs. So, for example, you're used to saying, I can see the cake, je peux voir le gâteau, le gâteau que je peux voir. I can, I'm going to buy the cake, je vais acheter le gâteau, le gâteau que je vais acheter. So, all of this is to say is if after your first verb, you still have in the infinitive form, in the to form, one of these verbs which would otherwise use de, you, st you need to still remember to say the don. So, for example, the situation I remember, la situation dont je me souviens, the situation I'm going to remember, la situation dont je vais me souvenir. The situation I deal with, la situation dont je m'occupe. The situation I'm, I should deal with, la situation dont je devrais m'occuper. Um, the situation I want to remember, or something, you know, la situation. So I, I want to remember the situation, je veux me souvenir de la situation. 
the situation dont je veux me souvenir. So, the example that we did with Isaac, it was Isaac that I did this with, lovely chap, been, me, been with me for a while, good student. So I think he had something like the, um, the languages Napoleon uh, tried to get rid of. So he tried, so perhaps you're used to saying he obviously was, qu'il a essayé. So for example, if it were the cakes he tried, you know, les gâteaux qu'il a essayé, the cakes that he tried. But he tried to get rid of the cakes. He tried to get rid of the, the languages. Il a essayé de se débarrasser des langues. With a de in there. Il a essayé de se débarrasser des langues. The languages he tried to get rid of. Les langues dont il a essayé de se débarrasser. Okay? So, um, yeah. So I will say it again. If the verb... And you could do exactly the same thing with a qui. So the man I'm thinking of. Je pense à l'homme, I'm thinking of the man, the man I'm thinking of, l'homme à qui je pense. Um, uh, I'm, the, I'm going to think about the man, alors je vais penser à l'homme, the man I'm going to be thinking about, l'homme à qui je vais uh, penser. You might not be used to doing that, you might be saying, you know, que je vais, whatever, same as we were saying earlier. Auquel, à laquelle, any of the other relative pronouns that you are used to using that would come into effect when you have a verb which uses a preposition, so mainly à or de, you know. Um, I'm going to work for the bank. Je vais travailler pour la banque. The bank I'm going to work for, la banque pour laquelle je vais travailler. You might not be used to saying pour laquelle je vais. So, in other words, it is to be very mindful when you go into a first verb that you might not be used to proceeding with a relative pronoun of this type. It's the second verb in the clause that counts. It could even be the third verb, you know. Um, the situation I'm going to have to remember. La situation dont je vais devoir me souvenir. It's the fact that that clause ends with a verb of this type that you are going to do this. So if you don't understand this video, watch it again. If you didn't honestly understand relative pronouns and you just thought, oh, do you know what? Fuck it. I'll watch the video anyway. Go and watch the videos underneath about relative pronouns. All right. So this one's dedicated to Isaac. Little shout out. Okay. Petit dédication. Um, lovely. I hope you find it really useful. Do please let me know if you kind of see the thing I'm on about. Um, great. All right then, guys, take care. If you find this useful, please click like. I do have a coffee link underneath. Uh, it is very much appreciated. And I do actually spend that money on coffee, legitimately. I don't just, you know, you know, on posh, you know, look, pocket the um, the money. I, I, I do have a little coffee fund and I will go and buy myself a coffee or a cake. So um, it is much appreciated. All right then, guys, take care. Remind yourselves, if you will, that the podcast is still all available. Um, the information will be underneath in the link as well. And do still follow me on um, Instagram because I often pop little fun, short little bits and little stories up there, you know, um, and that's worth following as well. But I won't now put on YouTube. All right, guys, lots of love. Take care.